everyone, I'm Anne and together with my good friend and business partner Wayne, I am one half of the Sussex Handmade Soap Company. Welcome to our channel. Um, today we are bringing you a midweek bonus video. And we don't do these very often. In fact, I think we've only done them once before in our entire year of being on YouTube. So they are very, very rare. The reason for today's video is that on Friday coming, we shall be bringing you a video of us creating a succulent themed soap. Uh, the soap has been made. It is, I absolutely really, really, really love it. You don't want to miss this one if you enjoy our soaps. Honestly, it is one of the best, in my opinion, that we have done. Um, but it does involve lots of little piped cacti and succulents. Um, and had I used Friday's video to include all of our piping as well, it would have been like epic movie length and probably far too long. So I thought we would not show the actual piping on Friday, but we would show it to you today. So today is just a relatively quick video of me doing the piping of the embeds that we're going to be using on Friday. Um, a couple of points to note. I do take my glove off at one point. Um, I keep the glove on my right hand, I lose the one on my left hand because I was using a metal cake nail and I was trying to swirl it and it was just sticking to the glove and it was making it really hard to pipe. But anytime I, mean, I needed to touch soap or move soap, I used my gloved hand. Brings me to my second point, my nails look dirty. I promise you they're not, that my hands were scrubbed and clean before I started. The reason they look a little bit purple is that I gave myself a home purple tint of the hair and um, didn't wear the gloves so in the process also completely stained my fingernails purple for a good week or so so I'm sure you'll notice that but that is why they look purple they're stained not dirty basically I <laughs> just had to clear that up um, right well enjoy today's piping video and look out for the full video on Friday because I promise you it is a good one Let's pipe some soap. So we're going to jump straight into the piping today. And the first little succulent I'm creating is the rose succulent. And for this I'm using the gem piping tip, the petal tip number 103. And I've coloured the batter with purple Brazilian clay. And the hardest thing about all of the piping I did was actually making sure the batter was at exactly the right consistency. Because too firm and it wouldn't have been able to pipe out of the bag, but too soft and it wouldn't have had the definition that is actually required. So that was definitely the hardest bit with the piping. To begin with, I popped a little grease poop paper square onto a cake nail, and I put a little blob of batter in the center, and then I created a little central bud by just swirling round like so. And then I needed to form the petals, so I just did three petals around the center of that central bud, like so. And then I just carried on piping petals around the rose, like so, until I was actually happy with the size of rose that I had created. You can add more if you want to, or you can add less. It is entirely up to you. I went with relatively small roses, just because I thought they fitted quite nicely in with the design I was creating. So just one more time, just to show you guys again, it's very easy really. This is the first time I've piped um, and I had to watch a video to learn how to do this myself. I watched a cake decorating video. Uh, this was my first attempt and I don't think I did too badly. They're not perfect by any means, but they're kind of passable as roses, which shows that it is relatively easy to achieve. So for the second cactus, I used a Wilton Tip 6B and this was probably the easiest one that I actually did. All that I actually needed to do for this one was to hold the piping bag vertically and then apply pressure down through the bag to actually release the batter and then when I was happy with the size simply release the pressure and that was basically it for this one. I coloured it with indigo and anatto to get this lovely green shade and I was pretty happy with how they turned out. This next one was probably the most complicated out of all of the cacti that I created and I'm using a Wilton tip 352, a little leaf tip, and I coloured the batter with just the smallest amount of indigo dye just to get this lovely pale blue, almost greyish colour, which I think works quite nicely and it goes in really well with the rest of the colour scheme just to add a little bit more colour to the design because I didn't want it to be all green or just green and pink. I wanted some other colour in there as well, which is why I went with this really pretty blue shade. 
Um, again, the batter consistency had to be just right for this one, just so those leaves stood up, but weren't too firm to pipe. And the way I created this one was again by watching a cake decorating video to get the idea of how to do it. And I just applied pressure, holding the piping bag at a very slight angle and applying the pressure, pulling the tip up and away and then releasing the pressure when I was happy with the size of the leaf that had been created. And just doing that around in a circle and then popping a blob of batter in the center just so I can create some height and then continuing with that petal design, going around the center of that blob of batter, filling in the gaps, making sure there's no gaps left behind. So bring a, putting a second layer in here, and then lastly, filling in the top portion with some more leaves. And I found that this gave a really nice height to the actual cacti as well, like so. I was happy with how these ones turned out, really happy with them. Now this next cacti is created using a similar method to the one that we've just done but for a little bit of difference I actually mixed the blue batter and the green batter together in the piping bag so that it came through in a kind of a two-tone effect just to give a little bit of difference to this cacti and I think it actually looks pretty nice, pretty effective. I am using a Wilton piping tip 74 and again just applying the pressure as I go round in a circle and releasing that pressure when I'm happy with how the petals are looking. And again, I am just squeezing little petals into the center and just building up the design like so. And I think that looks really pretty and really effective. And for this design, I'm using a Wilton piping tip 21 and the batter is colored with indigo and anatto. And this is kind of a very stereotypical cactus, a three, pointed cactus um, and it's very easy to do I just held the piping bag vertically I squeezed to release the batter pulled the nozzle up and then released the pressure on the bag when I was happy with the height of the cactus so we are squeezing down now and then releasing pressure and squeezing and releasing squeezing and releasing and it really is as easy as that to create this one here and lastly, I'm using the same piping tip. I had some leftover batter, so I'm just doing some slightly larger cacti here, just squeezing and releasing that pressure. And these were basically done as just sort of filler ones in case I needed extra little ones to put in places. I'm not sure that I'll actually use these on the final soap, but if I need any extras to fill gaps, these are gonna be perfect. So I hope you enjoyed watching me piping these little beauties. As I will fully admit, I am nowhere near even being really a competent piper. I mean, perhaps I'm competent, but I'm certainly not good. But I'm happy with what I've created. Um, and I hope it just gave you a little bit of info of how I did it as well. As I say, I take no credit uh, for coming up with the piping ideas. I actually looked at loads and loads of cupcake videos. Um, and took my inspiration for these succulents from cupcake videos that I watched, um, which I think is kind of a really good way of learning different techniques that can be transferred into soap making too. So thoroughly recommend checking out the cupcake videos for soap swirling and piping techniques. Um, yeah, Friday's video will be up on Friday, funnily enough. We hope you enjoy it. We hope you've enjoyed today's little midweek bonus video. And we'll see you on Friday for the uh, for the full video. See you then. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>